So hi, um, I'm like I'm, I'm trying to keep my cat out of the picture. If you want to see him, here he is. Hi Harry, see you later Harry. So the question on why why we age, it's um, I'm not saying what I'm not proclaiming that it's all true or this is just the way I see it. Uh, I had an incident in 2007 which produced a coma and one one of the messages that came out very strongly after that coma was there is no such thing as time and space are not time and space are not real that was the message that kept coming back to me and um, for a long time I wondered well I knew somewhere that that was the truth that was the right but I I couldn't figure it out because I'm very logical scientific kind of brain and uh, I figured it gotta be proof to it and the longer time that goes by the more I realizing this is the truth in my in my opinion anyway that this this is the way it really is and I still cannot prove it but I just happen to know there are people who can prove it or prove it like prove it better scientifically that can show how age for example, right? A lot of it has to do with that you believe that you're supposed to age, so you do. And I've seen recently they come up with, because what really happens is, is the telomeres unwind and become shorter and shorter and you age. And apparently there are ways of putting new ones so that you would, your DNA would tell you that you're still young, basically. And whether that's good or bad, I don't know. I'll leave that unsaid. But, so physically, yeah, you age. And this idea of time works really well in our, in our life here on Earth. That's something that we developed. You can't touch time, can you? Or space, for that matter. So, <clears throat> it's something that we work around as human beings on Earth. Now, in the next step, where this all energy comes from, in the other dimension, so to speak, it's what what happened was I happened to see an interview, an old interview with David Bowie. I don't know why, because I I don't really follow the guy, but years ago I happened to see an interview where he said. It all happens at the same time, and that made perfect sense to me. That was like, boom, of course. And so, I don't know if that's going to make sense to you, but it's it's like this. If, right, you're here right exactly now. You have an infant opportunities of what to do next. You have tons of choices to do what to do next with your life, with your experience here on earth, whilst in time, if you like. And that's kind of the way it is. You'd, and you've had had loads of chances to change that throughout your life. You've had had, always had, loads of experience, loads of opportunities of doing things differently. You always have that. Like you can click off this video at any second you like. That's your opportunity. That's your choice to do that. So. I am not quite totally sure I'm convincing you. <laughs> that this kind of comes together. And this is just, like I said, this is the way I see it. But I see a lot of people that proclaim the same thing. So I'm, now I'm thinking I'm not totally off here. Um, which in 2007 that was kind of what do I do with this information type of thing. Now there seems to be a lot more information out there on, on this. So. And it's it, all there ever is is right now. Everything else is a choice. Right this second. Right now. And now. And now. And now, so and.
and now. <laughs> and in honesty, I lost my train of thought. So, look at it this way. Yesterday will always be yesterday, whether yesterday was Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday, or Friday, or whatever day it is. It's always going to be yesterday. It's always going to be in the past. It's always going to be a memory. And the future is the same. It's always going to be tomorrow. Whether that's Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Monday, you get the idea. So there's always that span. And the fact that you can remember something really clear that happened a long time ago. That goes back to if that event was significant to you or had a big impact. It goes back to that you chemically told yourselves, little physically told yourselves and you and you got that into their memory. Jordi Spencer going on this in his books really detail how how your thought produces chemical reactions in your body. You know this just by thinking of a lemon. If you think of a lemon and think of, of putting it in your mouth, you will start drooling. Just the memory of it, just through thoughts alone. And it goes back to Pavlov's experiment too with the dogs, where he used the bell and the bells were and the dogs were salivating from just the sound of the bell. So you can train your physical body to be pretty much anything you want it to be having that said <laughs> of course um, there, there are quicker and shorter ways of doing it depends on what you want of course but can you train yourself to stop aging possible I wouldn't know I haven't tried it to be honest with you but I'm sure it's a possibility um, you get the idea the, the spectrum of what you can and cannot do or what you can do is is humongous it's infinite 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 it's limitless so and it's all up to you what you really want what is it you want out of this so going back to why do we age, um, because in this physical world, yeah, the, the body get worn out. You, I'm quite convinced personally, I can't prove this and I can't say I've seen it, but you can, I'm quite convinced that you can think yourself to become younger. You see some people age way quicker than others, so, and so, so somewhere in your subconscious, you are programmed to believe that when you're a certain age, you're supposed to age. Having that said, I just saw the movie Inceptions, which I highly recommend. Uh, how your subconscious basically run your life, unless you, just, the movie doesn't go into that, but unless you decide to reprogram it. To reprogram your mind, you gotta reprogram your body. Your body is your subconscious, more or less. And you just have to tell it who's in command. And basically how you do that is you decide what you want it to do. You decide that I no longer want to be angry with that person. Or I, that particular trait don't want to annoy me anymore. I don't want to be annoyed with other car drivers anymore. And you become the observer on your mind. When you start to automatically react to another driver, just observe that and go, whoa, what do you think you're doing? And just snap up on that. And you eventually, slowly, or eventually, training, do it again and again, your brain will snap up on that. Because initially your brain gonna go, this is the way we always do it. This is home, this is familiar to me, I'm not moving. So you gotta keep talking it into it. So it's gonna become uncomfortable, for sure. Especially if it's a habit you've done for the last God knows how many decades. Uh, it's it's uh, gonna be... it's Things don't want to change, how about that? 
like the phys phys physics about uh, something that is in motion will it's gonna wanna keep in motion something that stands still is gonna be standing still you have to add energy to it to move it and as for the motion if you do a car rolling by itself it's gonna stop but that's because of the resistance in the ground if there was no such thing it'll keep moving but that's beside the point but not really but you get the idea, I'm sure. Um, that will do whatever state your body is in, whatever decisions you've made up already, it's gonna be hard to tell it, you know what, we're gonna do it differently. But just when the, the body starts to fight you back and say, well, come on, it's just, just today, we'll start tomorrow, and then the next process comes in, you know what, you're not going to be able to do this, you won't hack it. But observe that, be aware of that, and decide for yourself that this time I'm going to be in decision. I'm going to be in command. So, I don't know if that answered the question of if time is not real, how come we age? Because we can actually skim back and forth through memories and through projections of what we conceive as predictable futures. Deja vu, anybody? I've heard them. Where I've seen the exact same thing happen twice. So it is possible to skip through time back and forth because it all happens at the same time. So there you go. And aging is a physical time bound idea. That's the part of that. And why we don't die comes the question. I'll leave that for another video. Or go and Google it. All right, so, hoping you're having a smashing day or a really good day. And I'm wishing you all the best. I hope to see you again, ciao.